we're going to jump in. Um, so we're going to do uh, four things. And like I just said um, to Kim, like you do whatever you want to do. Um, these are recorded so you can go back and, and deal, look at it later. Um, the big thing, it's more important to do proper form and function than do the volume. So if I say 10, that doesn't mean you have to do 10. If you do one that's really well put together and, and the, the structure is good, that's better because then you won't hurt your back and you won't hurt um, your shoulders. Um, these kind of core exercises and stretching, stretching won't obviously, but the core exercises can load your shoulders funny. It can load your back funny. So I always tell people just do what you feel comfortable doing. Don't feel like you have to do everything like crazy aggressive and, and just, you know, kind of roll through it and take it easy. We're going to do four exercises. That's what I always do. Mix them up every week though. So today we're going to do, um, I always do planks because I think planks are just really good, fundamentally great core exercises. And we're going to start with a front plank. Um, and then we're going to do, as the time gets a little bit longer, we're going to do two side planks as well. And so we're also going to do something, um, we call them feet to bars. Um, so you just need to be able to lay on your back and hold something behind you. Because what you're going to do is uh, on your back, you're going to be bringing your feet all the way up to a, to a 90 degree bend and then back down and succession. So nice, even motions, no like quick herky jerky things, just nice and easy. Um, then we're going to do something called a V up and a V up is where you're on your back again and you're coming up into a seated position, but you're not coming all the way up. So you're not tucking in. You're just kind of staying here and you're coming up to touch, engage your shin. You can do that one with a light weight. I use a little like a dumbbell um, and I just hold that over my head and that's what I touch my shins with. But you don't have to do that with a, with a weight. And the last thing, last thing we're going to do is something um, called a knee kip. And so a knee kip is you're going to be again on your back and you're going to bring your knees into your chest like this and then put them up into that 90 again. But this time your hands are flat on the ground. And at the end of that extension, you push up. So you kind of drive your feet up towards the ceiling. And that's like a kip in gymnastics. And what we want to do is do it as one motion. So you come in up and then the kip don't stall because if you stall you kind of lose your momentum so as you come in and push your feet up into the ceiling then come back down and let them roll back out when i do anything like feet to bar v ups or the knee kips i keep my feet off the ground the whole time so i always keep them six inches which is roughly about right there um, that way you're hovering so even if you don't want to do like a particular plank or feet to bar or whatever you can always be kind of hovering your feet. So like one foot at a time, two feet at a time. And so that you can do flutter kicks too. So if you're feeling like, oh, this isn't good for my back, you can just lift your feet six inches and do flutters because that's still gonna engage your core the whole time. And then just do that for the same amount of time that we're, we're doing the other exercises. Um, those are the four we're gonna do. First thing we're going to do though is stretch. Um, I like to stretch my back first because like I said, this is a bit uh, heavy on the, on the lower back. So I kind of lay on my back and I do side to side knee stretches and I just kind of bring my knees into like nice comfortable bend and I just drop them slowly to the side and I try to keep my shoulders flat on the ground and I just let my knees hang there. I don't care if they touch the ground. It's just kind of over to the side to just kind of get that nice deep stretch in your lumbar spine, you'll feel it. And then I just slowly roll them back to the other side. And what I do is about 10 total, so five each side. And you don't have to hold it very long. I hold it for like a five count and then I just go back the other way. But that way you just kind of open your spine up nice and kind of get it loosened and warmed up um, before you like start jumping into doing like a core workout. <laughs> Core is great for your lower spine. It's great for your whole spine. Um, and for me, especially like when we were just talking about the weather, uh, the weather changes make me stiff. So these kind of exercises just feel awesome because um, it loosens me up. So kind of keep moving, keep it nice and easy. Don't like, don't bounce your legs. Just keep them kind of weighted off to the side when you twist. Like I said, I just do five on each side. 
And then back up to sitting. The next thing we'll do is, um, if you've done any yoga, one of my favorite things is downward dog. Um, the reason I like that one is because it stretches my shoulders and my back. So down dog is just kind of crouched onto your knees and you're just pushing your hands out in front of you. If you can't get into downward dog or it feels uncomfortable, then just lay, if you can, on your tummy and just be pushing up with your shoulders this way. Um, and see if you don't want to go into like the full down dog. Um, this way you're kind of still getting that back stretch and the shoulders are engaged. If you're going to do down dog, just go ahead and put your head down close to the ground and stretch those hands out there. And that one, I just do that one for a 10 count. So just count on your own, nice and easy. And no bounces, nice and, nice and smooth. And then as you close to the ground, stretch out a little further. All right, and now we're gonna jump right in. I'm gonna set a timer. Let me set this thing over. Somebody has a vicious dog helping him out. <laughs> That's right, just to keep it interesting. All right, so I'm gonna start with a one minute timer. So we're gonna do a, a, one, a 30 second plank, front plank, which is when you are laying with your elbows flat on the ground and your, your body's a nice straight line. You're not sagged down, you're not pushing up. So it's a nice flat, even uh, lay. And we're just gonna hold that for 30 seconds. So I'm gonna start this. Hi, someone just jumped in, hello. I did not see your name. Just jump in whenever you're ready. Um, okay, so we're gonna start with a 30 second plank. <laughs> Danelle's already going. Here we go. She's rocking. So remember, nice, firm core. I keep my core tight the whole time and just focus on like keeping it nice and level. If you feel like you have to like take some weight off, just drop one of your knees down. You'll feel a lot of weight come off. If you want to drop more weight, put your other knee down. And that way you'll be able to kind of still keep your core engaged and the form will be there, but then you won't have all that weight on your spine. That's 30. Good. Now we're going to go to the bar. So that's, again, anything you can hold behind you. So if it's a, it can be a chair, couch. Um, I use a hand railing that's right behind me here. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna be bringing those feet up to a 90 degrees and then back down. Don't let them hit the ground. So let them come down to six inches and hover and then right back up to that. We're gonna do a 10 count. So you guys do those on your own as fast as you want. You don't have to go fast, um, but we're just gonna do 10 in a row. So here we go. There's one, two, three, four, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're going to go into the V-ups, which is the one where you're going to come up to your shins. So again, same way, we're going to hover those feet. Um, don't let your feet hit the ground. V-ups, as you come into the V, you're not going into like a really tight V. It's just a nice soft V. So when you get to the top of it, you'll be about right there and you should just be able to touch your shins with your hands. So as I come over, I touch them, then I go back down, touch them, go back down. And when I drop down, if you're using a weight, um, make sure the weight stays behind you so you don't hurt your, hurt your shoulders. And as you come up, come up nice and slow. Don't like snap up, just you're not a bear trap. You're just like a nice accordion. So we're gonna do 10 of those. And you guys count on your own. I'll count to myself. Um, and we're gonna do 10 right in a row. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten. Excellent. Good form too. Okay, now come the fun ones. So the knee kips. So here again, if you want to adapt these at all, if you don't want to take that push at the end, as you come in, you'll bring your feet to here and then up. Just remember it's like a, you're bringing them in like on a track and then straight up, down and out. If you want to go a little further, bring them in, take them up and that's when your arms are flat and you're doing that push at the end. So just that little explosion at the end. Don't feel like you have to do that. If you're not going to do that, you just want to keep them on a nice even track, straight up and then back out. And you're going to go to that six inch mark again. So there again, we're going to do 10 of those. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent. I have little rocks in my shoes, so when my feet go up above me, they drop down on my head. I feel like I'm <laughs> off my wing. <laughs> Sorry. So I'm going to set a timer. We're going to rest two minutes. So if you have water, drink some water. That's the four exercises. We're going to do those three more times. So we'll start with a plank. And on this plank, I think we'll add a side plank. So we'll go 30 seconds. 15 and 15. So on your side planks, you want to be nice and flat right here. So this is your, this is what you want to focus on. If that feels bad, I use these little yoga blocks. And as I pull up into it, if I don't like the, if it feels too stressful, I just drop my hip on there and take some of that weight off. Um, you can do it with a water bottle, uh, books, whatever, um, or stay with the, the front plank if you like to. That works as well. So I have a question, Craig. You were talking in the um, beginning about stretching, and you said downward dog, but it looked like you were more in a cobra or potentially upward dog. So I want to make sure that I'm understanding. So you show me your downward dog. So downward dog would be more like this. Oh, you're totally right. Yeah. So and I'm then, in. And then happy puppy is when your legs are together and you're down like this. I'm happy puppy. Totally. And then cobra is this. And yeah. Then oh, that would be more like yeah. that. And cobra I do just if I'm stretching that a little bit. But happy puppy, I always get that name wrong. Um, happy puppy is the one that I like the most. OK. Plus and then, better some name. people don't know the difference between happy puppy and child's pose, but so, okay, so you're in happy puppy, cool. And child's pose is the one you're on your back, right? Your, your feet are tucked? No, that's, that's happy baby. Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. But the difference between happy puppy and child's pose is happy puppy, your legs are together or close, and child's pose, they're apart, and uh, you're right. flat. Got it. Like your back's more swooped. We're happy puppy. You're more together. And it's more of an angle as opposed to dipped. Happy puppy. It is. I love so it. So think about a puppy when they want to play. They're, you know, yeah, they're totally. OK. I just want to make sure I was following. I got a little. No, you. Thank you. Thank you. Because I call it downward dog all the time. <laughs> OK, so we're going to start with a front plank. So. Again, on your elbows, we're going to go for 30 and then we're going to go 15, 15. So 15 onto your side. And when you roll on your side, if you're going to do that, just stay in your plank, but just tip yourself over like, uh, like a piece of roller food. That's what I always equate it to. And then when you go to the other side, just drop your first elbow and then roll onto the other way. So we're going to go for 30, then 15, then 15. So we'll go a minute total here. Um, and here we go. Nice, easy front plank to start. Keep your core nice and tight the whole time. That'll keep you from sagging.
that's 20 seconds. So we're going to roll onto our, whichever side you want to, to go to. We're going to go there right now onto a side, or you can stay into a front plank. Now we're going to roll the other way now. And there's 55, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. All right, now we're gonna do feet to the bar again. So 10 of those with your feet raises. And you do your own 10 count. You'll hear me counting, but you don't have to stay on my counts. So again, six inch hover to start. And then we go right to 10. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice. Now we're going to roll into the V ups. And again, we're going to do 10 of those. So up to your shins and then back down to that nice lay down position. Feet are always six inches off as soon as you start that 10 count. So just keep the, ten, the six inches the whole time. All right, here we go. Again, you'll hear me count, but you don't have to stay on my counts. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Beautiful. And now we're going to do those kips, the knee kip. So again, if you don't want to do the kip at the end, just keep them on that nice slide as you come in. So even if you're coming just to your chest right here, but you keep that six inches, that's great for your core too. So you could be doing that. And then if you wanna keep going further, then stick them up. And then if you wanna go all the way up, do the kip at the end. So 10 of those, start with a six inch hover and off we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent. I'm gonna take you take one break in between. Minute thirty. And now we'll just do that again. Everybody's still here, right? Everybody's still with us. Hang in. Happy puppy. Whoops. All right, coming up on a minute. So we're gonna start with the planks. We're gonna do that same plank again. 30 seconds front, 15 side, 15 side. All right, we're gonna start in about 10 seconds. All right, here we go, front plank first. Up we go. We're going for 30. Keep those shoulders nice and tight the whole time as well. That'll kind of keep you stable. That's 15. There's 25. We're going to start to roll here. 
Now onto your side, nice straight line. Keep that hip up. We're gonna get ready to roll to the other side. There's the other side roll. Going 15 there. Three, two, one, perfect. Nice. Okay, feet to the bar for 10 of those on your own count. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Excellent. Beautifully done. Nice job, team. All right, we're going to do V-ups. Coming right up to your shin. Again, ten count on that one. All right. And we're off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. All right, knee kips. All righty, same 10 count. Here we go, six inches to start, and we're off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome, one more round. So I'm gonna set a timer here to rest. Remember, drink some water if you have it. Gonna go minute 30. So we're gonna do this last round and then we're gonna stretch out a little bit longer than what we did in the beginning um, to kind of hopefully keep everything moving. I usually feel a lot warmed up by the last one. Makes my back feel better. Okay, that's about 30 seconds. We're gonna go 45 more seconds and then do one more round of those four. And I do these, um, I think I do a core workout like four days a week. Helps my whole kind of spine, lower back feel better. Um, you don't have to do it that much. I do it now because we have time. Um, it depends on how much I'm climbing. We're not climbing as much now um, just because of the state of the nation. Um, but as climbing opens up more now, it's nice to be able to go back into it with some kind of fitness. Um, that's about 105. Just gonna go about 15. So we're gonna start with those planks again, front plank first, side planks. Um, I'm gonna tack on 10 seconds at the end, that's it. So five on each side, a little bit longer on the sides. Um, again, if it feels hard, drop that knee. If it feels uncomfortable, drop both knees. We're going to reset. We're going to go to a front plank first. And we're going to do that for 30. Reset. There we go. Okay, here we go. Remember, keep that core nice and engaged. That's what keeps you nice and straight. That's 15 seconds. So we're still gonna roll up at 30 onto our sides or stay in the front. I'm just gonna tack on an extra five there on each side. So there's coming up on the side now. Roll over on the side. So 
So there's almost 45. So we're doing five extra here. Now we're rolling to our other side. We're going 20 seconds that way too. Three, two, one. Beautiful. Very nice. Okay, feet to bar. We're going to do 10 of those. Last 10 for that. Oh. Okay, you're on 10 count. You'll hear me. Six inches off the ground to start. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice. All right, we're going to do V ups, last ten V ups. Again, your own 10 count. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice. And the last set of knee kips. Okay, 10 of those. And here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Excellent. Okay, we are going to stretch a wee bit. And you guys have any questions, ask. So let's do that same knee roll. Um, so on our backs and just letting our knees drop to the side, it should feel nice, it should feel easier now that your back is all warmed up. So just let them rest over to the side. Just let it stretch nice and long. Keep your shoulders flat. And at the end, I usually do like three on each side. Just feels good. Nice. And now we're going to do happy puppy. <laughs> um, just again, just to stretch the back out, um, because after you lay on it like that and you're kind of bending around a lot, um, my back always feels a bit tight. So I just like to stretch it as much as I can. So really stretch those arms out in front. Get a nice deep stretch. Awesome. And that is it. It takes me to do a regular core, like if I do it um, where I'm trying to sweat in between, it takes me like 25 minutes to do a core workout. So that today it took us about 34 um, because the break, we took a minute, a uh, minute and a half in between each, uh, each round. You don't have to do that or you can do more. It depends on how tired you are in between. I would, I like to kind of get my heart rate up as much as I can when I'm doing them because then I feel like I'm getting more in, um, feels better usually, not always. Um, and like I said, I do that four days a week-ish. Um, I don't do the same exercises. The only exercise I repeat usually is a plank. Everything else I try to just rotate through different exercises just because I get bored. Um, 
And I think with climbing, it only helps. Core is like so important when you're climbing. And so I feel like this is a great way to just, after all this time, be able to kind of doing and doing and doing. And that way you're not just jumping back in when they open everything up and, and just can't do anything.